Hi, this is Svetlana from Comic Cosplay and today I'm taking you on an insane crafting adventure from Genshin Impact. So last year I already created Beidou with her massive claymore, the Black Cliff Slasher. And apparently Hoyaverse, the studio behind Genshin Impact, liked my cosplay so much that they asked me to create a new costume. This time I chose Yilan, a quite mysterious, pretty hot archer from Lioe. She is a Hydro character and has quite some insane movements with her signature bow, the Aqua Simulacra, which is also really, really gorgeous. And yeah, I instantly fell in love with her design and like her beauty kind of got her hairstyle as well and just like her whole elegance. And I'm really, really excited to bring Yilan to life. And if you never heard of Genshin Impact before, it's an amazing open world adventure game which you can play on mobile, PC and PlayStation for free. The game has a stunning story that is constantly evolving and has a ton of characters you instantly fall in love with. Its latest chapter, patch 4.0, opens up Fontaine, the kingdom of the Hydro Archon. All the new characters look stunning again and I'm really excited to explore the new water region. And just as the Hydro Archon, Yelan is also a Hydro character. Her design will surely give me quite some headaches, but in this video I show you how we created her super complex bow, the Aqua Simulacra, first. And if you want to check out Genshin Impact yourself, please use the affiliate link in the video description down below. This really helps us a ton with collaborations like this and maybe then I can also do another Genshin Impact cosplay next year. Thanks so much for all your support and now let's start crafting. So let's take a look at the in-game reference first. As you will immediately see, the Aqua Simulacra has a really pretty design. I especially love the combination of blue, white and gold and all the aquatic inspired shapes. It's just such a cool and flashy weapon and I love the way Yilan fights and jumps around with it. Just like with my Beidou project last year, I only had 6 weeks to finish Yilan, so building the bow by myself was sadly out of the question. Luckily Benny and his brother Jacob stepped in and offered to do it for me. So let's get right into crafting. The question we needed to answer first was, how big should the bow be? To figure this out, Benny sat down and made a rough drawing of the bow for me in Adobe Illustrator. If Yilan would have my height, so 174 cm, the bow should be around 115 cm. So we scaled it properly, printed it out and assembled the pieces. And I think we got it on the first try, looks so good. Now onto the real fun. Benny and his brother Jacob are really amazing when it comes to 3D stuff. So they began by making a detailed 3D model of the bow, which you can also find on my website by the way, link below. Since our 3D printers can only print pieces of 18 cm high however, they then had to cut the bow into many more smaller sections. In total they ended up with 40 parts that all needed to be printed individually. Luckily we have two ABS machines, Swordtrex M200 to be exact and a lot of filament to spare. So Benny immediately got to work slicing all the pieces and sending them to our machines one after the other. I'm sure in the video this will look all super quick and easy, but just take into account that some elements took up to 8 hours to print. And this whole process consumed almost a whole week. Anyway, here you can finally see all the finished parts of the bow in one place. One of the best things about 3D printing is seeing your digital model slowly become a real thing that you can pick up and touch. Sadly, having the rough and unprocessed pieces was just the start. The next step was gluing everything together. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention was that I also needed my bow to be transportable. The best way to achieve that was to add a detachable PVC pipe with magnets into the grip. I actually made a whole video about this process, so go check it out if you want to see this in more detail. 
Okay, but now we finally had to start the gluing. Since Benny printed everything in ABS plastic, using ABS slushy for glue was the best choice. He just applied some of it with a toothpick and pressed the two parts together. It actually dries pretty quickly. The most scary step however was hot gluing the PVC pipes inside and combining the rest of the grip. These few parts were the base that everything else would get attached to so this had to be good. Oh yeah, and all the elements had to be sanded as well of course both with the sanding machine and by hand with sandpaper. This alone took several days of work. Then, after the grip was completely cured, it was time to set this giant bow puzzle together. Jacob started by adding more EBS slushy and hot glue and sticking on some of the lower pieces. A few parts didn't exactly line up, but nothing that a bit of force couldn't fix. Some spot putty here and there to hide the glue seams, a few additional elements and the lower portion of the bow was already assembled. Nice! Onto the upper half. It was so cool to see the bow slowly come together bit by bit. As you can see, we actually built the larger part of the bow hollow, which made the whole construction a lot more lightweight and sturdy. Okay, the top was assembled as well. Just a few small details were missing. Lucky for us, the design of the bow allowed us to perfectly hide the separation line. Pretty smart, right? Just had to attach the two side feathers temporarily with some duct tape. And as you can see, the giant aqua simulacra puzzle was complete. Oh, it's so pretty. It even looked better in real life. And the size fit me perfectly as well. I was really happy. Benny and Jacob did some amazing work. Only the paint job was missing now. By the way, if you're interested in learning all of this as well, go check out my book about 3D modeling and printing on kamuicosplay.com. It's full of helpful tips and tricks and shows you how to get started. Since sanding does not remove all of the printing layer lines, the next step was to apply spray primer. This product adds a thin layer of material on top that can be easily sanded down with a soft sponge. The result looked butter smooth. Perfect for a shiny finish. If you look at the in-game reference, you will see that the aqua simulacra is not just blue. There are actually at least five different shades of blue. So to get the right tone, Benny and his brother did a lot of color mixing tests. After they finally found the right shade, it was time for masking tape. Pretty much every panel on the surface of the bow needed a different color, so it was important to protect the rest. The dark parts of the upper half got some black primer first and then a few layers of navy blue. Luckily Benny has really steady hands, which makes him the perfect person to airbrush all the gradients. While the top half was hanged out to dry, the bottom part came next. First primer, then blue. So far it's so good. Now it got a little bit more tricky. Benny had to switch the masking tape for the larger white area. This one needed a bright blue, almost purple gradient that gave him quite some head edges. It also needed some additional purple lines that were really hard to mask off. At least removing the masking tape was very rewarding. Ok, and last but not least, the golden details at the back. After 3 or 4 layers, this one got sealed with some clear coat and then Jacob added some dark brown acrylic shadows for more depth. This was around 2 days of painting work so far. Finally, they removed the last masking tape, added some more golden details by hand plus a lot of small white dots and sealed their progress with satin glass varnish. Looks so good already! Now Benny needed to add more bright blue gradients to the white feather looking wings. This was really tricky by the way, but they turned out really pretty. A bit more ABS slushy glue underneath and they could be attached to the sides. The butterfly was painted with a pretty blue gradient and a lot of little space dots separately. And then got glued right onto the top of the front piece. 
They also attach this little magic thing here, whatever it is supposed to be. Top half done, bottom half left. First this one needed to be painted in a bright sky blue and then got a white gradient under the grip. Just like the top counterpart it also had some shiny golden areas which Benny did next. Unmasking, adding a cobalt blue to the top area, more gold for the grip details and some really complicated weaving lines in the middle. These were super hard to do, but Jacob actually managed it like a pro. A few final blue space dots here and there and the bottom half could also be varnished. Ah, so pretty! Finally both of the halves could be put together and connected with a thick rubber band bowstring. And ta-da! Yelan's Aqua Simulacra bow was assembled, painted and completed. It took a few days to create the 3D model, one week to print and another week to assemble and paint. But I think the result was totally worth it. It looks so amazing. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and appreciate the beauty of the final Aqua Simulacra. I think Benny and his brother Jacob did a really amazing job in creating it and it looks straight like out of the game. And I hope maybe this video, I'm just placing this down because I'm a little bit scared to break it. I hope this video actually um, inspires you maybe to get a 3D printer yourself because they became actually incredibly affordable. Like you get a really good printer ready like for $300 or something like that. And you can then create this stuff as well. And like I got so many comments from people saying 3D printing is actually no real crafting, but I really hope those people are actually watching this video and seeing all this work. And yes, it is crafting and it is very, very insane. And I hope you like to see everything completely made from scratch. And again, thanks so much to Hoyaverse and Genshin Impact for this really amazing collaboration. And if you want to check out the game yourself, just use the affiliate link in the video description down below. And finally, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And the next upcoming video will be, as promised, the full Yelan cosplay crafting madness insanity. And I hope I can keep the video under one hour because the costume is actually very, very, very complicated. And I cried only a few times while making it. Only just a little bit. It will be insane, promise. So don't miss it. And yeah, to support us, please, with the YouTube algorithm, leave us a comment. You can maybe write us what you think about 3D printing. Is it cheating? Is it a real technique? Is it maybe a cheesecake? Who knows? So, and if you don't know what to write, just write down Corgi and join the Corgi squad. And now, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.